Okay, we are back with some more EDF. Uh, let's see, so we're gonna do Captain Anime offline, obviously. Uh, so here's, I have an idea. Why don't we do, I've got, I've got some decent things. Let's start mission. Let's go back to this mission. And I want to try this on hard. I want to see what happens when we do this on hard. Pilot seats are not for everyone. Some vehicles can only be driven by air raiders and rangers. Fencers and wing divers of larger equipment can, can't enter the pilot seat. Oh, yeah, so hop in the a ATV and we'll figure out how it goes. Though, that's not really going to be a big deal. Uh, like I said, I'm probably going to be playing this game solo. Unless we get some, like, fan reinforcements. Uh, oh, right, I've still got the Retreat. free bike. Well, whatever. Okay, so let's, giant let's take, take out this section mechanical. first. Oh, I've still got the bound gun. I should probably get rid of that. Monsters! They appear around the pylon! The monsters are increasing in number! The pylons this is, like, actually the worst weapon. Monsters. They keep coming, well... One after another. Attack. Oh, right. Here's an option. Here's a thing. Seeing as we're starting out, and we're doing a little bit of hard mode grinding, we're going to turn off the vo voice acting. This way we don't have to think about it. Okay. So let's just pile some shots in here. Yeah, the grenade launcher is going to be better. So this is on hard mode. I was thinking we could try this to see if we can net ourselves some kind of neat guns early. Uh, or if not, some decently powerful guns. Or we just go back to normal mode, because so far I'm not feeling wildly underpowered using just normal mode guns. I just wanted to give this a go and see what would, see what would happen. And I don't think I'm going to do like any kind of infinite run on this. I'll just uh I'll just do the mission and we'll see what we get. It does look like it's pretty doable with no normal mode equipment. So I wonder if I could do uh a lot of like inferno mode junk. This probably would become impossible on inferno mode. Oh, right. This is the sprint button. There we go. Oh, I see. Those little markers are just to show that there's, uh, there's more coming. I was like, wait. I have to kill all these pillars before the, uh, before the, like, end mission spam just shows up. It'd be kind of ne neat if you could actually, like, hang out there and try and clear as many as you can. You know, one of those where it's like, get to the escape zone! Or if you don't get to the escape zone, you can just fight all of them. What games let you do that? I, I've done that in a couple of games now. And it's really satisfying when you can just be like, Hey, look! A um, mission that you're supposed to lose. Let's destroy it. I think there was a mission like that in uh, StarCraft 1. The one where you initially lose Kerrigan. Uh, you can actually... If you're really good at it, or if you use, like, mad hacks or whatever, you can actually just clear the mission and it's just real awkward. I realize that you're not supposed to, but there's something kind of cathartic about being like, you know, overwhelming force of enemies, and it's just like a quiet, quiet, like, empty screen during the cutscene. What other games... I guess actually a lot of a lot of RTSs have moments like that where you, you can just totally dominate the enemy and it's just like, oh no, whatever will we do? And it's like we're doing great. Halo Reach, except for Halo Reach becomes like ridiculous. If I remember right, like it eventually gets to the point where uh, anything and everything will one shot you, and you have to do like a considerable amount of work just to not die. The, the end of Halo Reach is a good example, though. I like I like that game. At some point, Shell and I will probably go through and play through the uh, play through the Halo games. If they ever come out with uh, the Halo games on PC, or some way for me to play them on PC, I will absolutely do a co-op series because I think that would be really sweet. I don't know. I that was one of the first co-op. That was the first shooter I ever played. Well, yeah, Halo is the first, like, modern shooter I've ever played. I played a little bit of, uh, well, no, I played a lot of Chex Quest when I was a kid. But does that count? I'm not, I'm not entirely convinced Chex Quest is like a... I'm not entirely convinced Chex Quest counts as like a, a shooter even. 
I guess it's a Doom clone, but still. And somebody that was leaving snide messages when I was playing Hades. Uh, or on my Hades videos, more or less being like, This is just a Diablo clone. I was like, that's like calling XCOM a Doom clone. Yeah, I guess they both have guns in them, but... That's like, that's about it. Isn't Halo 5 on PC or 6 or something? Maybe? I... I don't know. My main problem is, though, like, I'd still want to play, like, all the other Halos. I wouldn't want to just do, like, 5 or 6. Let's see, so what do you do in this game? Uh... You... Save her Mother Earth from any alien attack. From vicious giant insects that have once again come back. Uh, and that's actually where I lose it. I'd, I'd have to I'd have to look at it again. Look at it again. But effectively, it's a. Uh, I'm not exactly going to say like a, a wave survival game, but you fight like boatloads of of enemy ants, and UFOs, and like a billion other things. And it's really fun. And it's one of those like bizarre games you only hear about in like niche groups. And the niche groups are like really dedicated to the game. And for good reason. They're they're actually like legitimately quite fun. I swear I saw an ant doing donuts in the sky. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. EDF is not exactly uh polish is not Polish is not a priority for these games. The ants are going to do really dumb things. If you get the spider mech and try and climb on a wall, you're going to be donuts doing donuts in the sky, just like the just like the ants do. Like the the pathing, the the everything gets a little little chunky and weird. And I I will tell you honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. Not with this game at least. I don't know. I like the jank. It, honestly, yeah, it, this is my equivalent of, like, the Elex game. Because uh, I didn't like Elex that much. It was... it was okay. What the... oh. I was underground for a second. Give me... I want it all. Okay, thank you. I think I've just left nothing but health. Okay, so it looks like, judging by this, we didn't get anything... We didn't get... No, we got some new things. It doesn't look like any of them are particularly high level? We got a Leopard Guided Rocket Launcher, a Minion Buster, and a Flamethrower. Ooh, that could be kind of fun. Okay, so I'll have to mess with some of these. Let's go do a, a plot mission or two. Alright, change equipment. Uh, so let's switch from Free Bike... Item acquisition range would be nice, but I think I'm going to go with obstacle destruction as we go along. Okay, volatile napalm. We know that's a bad move. So let's... We have the minion buster. Battle against powered exoskeletons. Armor piercing high explosive shells. The range ain't great, but it seems good. Let's give it a go. And I don't know if I have to aim at things. Uh, let's see, what what is even the mission that we're doing here? Destroy the giant ship. Okay, so we want we want something with with range. Uh, let's see. Oh. Okay, so this this just fires guided rockets that are guided based on my own my own shots. Is it worth it? It does a little bit more damage. It fires slower. Reloads a little bit slower, too. Otherwise, we could grab a sniper rifle. What's the damage on a on one of these? Damage three burst. We should probably grab... Let, let's try the Leopard-guided rocket launcher. We'll see if it's a good idea. It probably isn't. Okay, start mission, and destroy the giant ship. And we'll do it on normal. I could try it on hard, but I think... 
I think I'll get overwhelmed if I do. Oh, right. I'll restart the mission with the uh, voice acting on. I don't know if we've missed anything. But I was like, why is it just suddenly silent? The answer is, duh. Is that the mothership? Yeah, and it's number nine. The ninth one out of ten. AFEs, move out. Infantry, move with the AFEs. Ground units, attack the monsters. The Air Force will handle the mothership. That's a ship? It's as big as a city! That thing can fly? Their technology is on a completely different level. I say what we lack in technology, we make up in bravery. Mark the target! Flying saucers approaching! Okay, so I'm not sure if the leopard guided rocket is exactly what I'm looking for here. Oh well. It'll be good for taking out the, uh... It'll be good for taking out the, uh, the mothership. Aiming for weak points? Maybe? I won't be able to get as much volume out. That's the one problem. What the hell is the mothership trying to do? Well, I guess the other thing is I can just switch to the minion buster, at least for a little while. We'll see how it goes. Alright. Because supposedly the minion buster is... Powerful? It's powerful-ish. It looks sparkly as it shoots. Do not fear. Strike back. Yeah, supposedly this is a good anti-armor gun. I'm not sold on that. But I don't know. AFEs, move in. We're in combat. Head straight to the central plaza. Why can't I fire Infantry, stay close to the AFEs. The cover fire will help us to move up. I should probably pay attention to drops here. Oh no! I just saw aliens! I can't believe they're real! What the hell? We've been fighting those outer space monsters all this time and it just came to you? I'm not talking about monsters! I'm talking about humanoid aliens! Oh! Are we getting, like, actual aliens here? Like I said, I have paid no attention to the actual material. I know there's frogs because people wouldn't stop talking about the frogs. We have a reported sighting of humanoid aliens. Humanoid aliens? <laughs> Extraterrestrial beings similar to humans. You mean aliens that look like humans? One head, two eyes, with hands and feet. Bipedal. Almost identical to humans. This is unbelievable. We hit it. Next. There's a lot of explosions going on. Non-stop. Bet it's Hector. Maybe. Can't stop shaking. I was an air show performer. Always be prepared for battle. Come here. I'm gonna quickly grab. Something's approaching. It's. Alien flying ships! What? Here. I'm just, Where are my bullets? just here for the weapon. What are those? Oh. The These formation. are cool looking. Yes, sir! They're flying in the air! Reload! Reload! Look! Something's piloting it! I'll back you up! Drop! Thank dead. you! It's too far to shoot. Hey! Oh, you, you saved my life! Something is coming out! Something is descending from the flying ship! I can't believe it! They're aliens! Aliens are descending uh, from the flying ow, ship! Ow, what? So oh. that is the enemy's uh, landing ship. Wait, frags? Frags! Uh, aliens have weapons! Holy shit, you can shoot their arms we'll off! If we don't fight back! Get out of here, my frig! The alien infantry is here! Oh god! There's limbs everywhere! Back up! It's the alien infantry! Can they shoot the legs off? Oh god! Aliens have finally landed on Earth! Are they aliens? They look like humans! Oh. 
They look just okay, like so I'm dying. I should fix that. Unbelievable. They have mouths, too. They look like they're talking. So they have their own language, just like humans? Permission to engage the aliens granted. Ground units, commence the attack of those aliens. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Okay, so I need I need different guns. Something with a little bit more luck. Oh my god, that's horrifying! Oh, look at it! It's like shimming along the ground as it's bleeding out. Oh! Oh, but it regrows its legs. Okay, so... That's good to know. Yeah, I can cut off limbs now. That's great and horrifying. Alright, so Minion Buster is good, but it needs more range. It actually doesn't really seem like there's that much of a difference. I guess we could grab the uh, sniper rifle. What is this? Capacity. That might not be a bad one for what I'm doing. But I could do the grenade launcher. Mm, no, I shouldn't do the grenade launcher. Let's just do pure rockets. Let's... Probably pure rockets or... Probably just the PA. What's the rate of fire? 12 per second. Slugger fires a little bit faster. Okay, we'll do the we'll do the slugger. And try again. I wanna see I wanna see about this rocket launcher. It might be really good. Yeah, the fencer might be good for this too. Oh yeah, this could be a really good mission for the fencer. Because tons of damage. I'm Is gonna that the mothership? try and keep yeah, with and this, but nine. we might just do fencer. The ninth one out of ten. It's coming. AFEs, move out. Infantry, move with the AFEs. Ground units, attack the monsters. The air force will handle the mothership. Stay calm. So far, the air force has been utter garbage against any that such thing things. Can fly? Their technology is on a completely different level. I say what we lack in technology, we make up in bravery. But I'm really feeling the MLRA. Okay, uh, we're gonna retreat early. I like the MLRA, but it doesn't. I don't think it does enough damage for what I'm trying to do here. Let's change equipment. Ranger. Let's switch this to. Uh, probably just the Grant, or maybe one of the grenade launchers. Let's grab the... this... no, that's time-based, still. Oh, Volatile Napalm is a... Uh... We could try it. We'll try that. And if this doesn't work, we'll we'll try Fencer. Because, yeah, currently we just don't have enough of a, a variety ship? here. Yeah, and it's number nine. The for what I'm looking for. I should be able to shoot the uh, mothership. It's move not out. so high up in Infantry, the air. Move with the AFEs. Ground units, attack the monsters. The Air Force will handle the mothership. That's a ship? It's as big as a Okay, city. I've pissed them off. That thing can fly? Their technology is on a completely different level. I One thing I, I I could also try doing is just up in bravery. Flying saucers approaching. I could also just try and uh this gigantic thing is above my head. Roll the grenade launcher, maybe? Incoming monsters! Did I take it down? You Destroy the monster! Oh, this is napalm. I forgot about the napalm. I'm not sure if the napalm is going to be a good idea. Well, it might be really good against the frogs. I mean, they're big. Make, should make them easy to kill. Okay. Well, I guess we just go through this entire process again. Just hope for the best. Do not fear. Strike back. Uh, 
If I can find a UFO to shoot at, it's within range, I can kill it. Hey, Afiz, move in. The ones that are far away, that's the problem. Infantry, stay close to the AFVs. The cover fire will help us to move on. Oh, the group. The volatile napalm is horrifying. Oh no! I just saw aliens! I can't believe they're real! Awesome! What the hell? We've been fighting those outer space monsters all this time and it just came to you? Magazine! I'm not talking about monsters! I'm talking about humanoid aliens! Okay, so the napalm sticks to them until they die. That's a little bit more helpful. Yeah, cooking frog legs? Might might be time. We have a reported sighting of humanoid aliens. Humanoid aliens? Attack your life. Extraterrestrial beings similar to humans. It bugs me a little bit that they don't immediately say they're aliens. frog aliens. Like humans? One head, two eyes, with hands and feet. Bipedal. Almost identical to humans. This is That's unbelievable. Not true. That is very far from identical to humans. They are frogs with guns. You can shoot their limbs off. It's honestly kind of upsetting. Okay, yep, there was a weapon back here. I'm just gonna run around for a bit, grab what I can. Let's see. So I should probably mention for those of you watching this, uh, you don't actually get to always keep everything. Uh, if you notice, like, when I lose the mission, uh, I got to keep a little bit of my weapons and armor. That is entirely dependent on what... Uh, it's entirely dependent on what difficulty setting you're on. So if you're on easy, you'll keep everything. If you're on it's normal, you keep 75%. Uh, all the way down to Inferno, where you don't get to keep anything. What are those? The magazine is... Fire! They're flying in the air! You want... Look! Something's piloting it! I will follow the plan. Watch this! I should probably leave some of the uh health on the ground. I love the fact that you can see the the circle for what is what is grabbable. Something is descending from the flying ship! I can't believe it! They're aliens! Aliens are descending from the flying ship! So that is the enemy's landing ship. Weapons! They're coming! We'll be killed if we don't fight back! Fire! Fire! That alien is a soldier! The alien infantry is here! Okay, so yeah, these guys are this ver game's version of Hector. Which honestly... I like the uh, frog, frog soldiers. I like the Frog Soldiers better than the Hectors, because the Hectors felt kind of random. These guys feel, like, appropriate. They look just like humans. The resemblance is unbelievable. I, what is wrong with you? They look like they're talking. So they have their own language just like humans? Yeah, I need I need an actual explosive. The napalm is fun. To engage the aliens granted. Ground units, commence the attack on those aliens. But it's hard to tell if I'm actually killing them. Never mind, it's not hard. I just have to make sure I hit. God, you can watch it cook cook alive. I gotta hit it with about three though to take it out. We are engaging an alien infantry unit. Maybe more than that. Holy crap, they take some hits to kill. Fall back! Fall back! Hold your ground! No way we're handing over this city! Yeah, they're just like humans. They're I... attacking! Go figure, the we're getting conquered. The shadows of buildings! Those bastards! Move in! Bastards? Wow. Show them what the EDF infantry is made of! The enemies are attacking us from the side! What? No! 
<laughs> Toasty roasty, Mr. Foxies. Okay, they're dead. I can't see the remaining one. He's booking away. They've got some range, though, which makes it a little harder to... Get to them. There's so much grape. Oh, you can actually hear it talking. This is Delta Team. The enemy's trying to outmaneuver us. They're trained military soldiers. You attempted to beat me. But what you failed to realize is I have a lot of fire. Good job. Enemy ships are landing! Yeah, so hit and run with napalm seems like a good idea. It works. Mostly. I think I'd probably still prefer regular grenade launchers just because no stun lock? Question. No, they, they drop from the bottom if I remember right. They've landed! It's a whole army! There are way too many enemies. Retreat. Uh, uh, no! It's too late! Uh, oh, mission mission cleared. Mission cleared? Mission cleared? Okay, so MLRA is up, bound guns up, and we get some stuff for the uh we get some stuff for the fencer. This wouldn't be a bad mission for the fencer. Uh, let's see, are we fighting more frogs? Looks like we're fighting more frogs, so why don't we do class equipment, fencer, hand gatlings, no. Automatic shotgun, what's the range on it? Pretty damn good. The galleon lightweight cannons aren't a bad idea, though. Yeah, let's go galleon lightweight cannons and a shotgun. No, no, cannons, cannons. Okay, so what do, you, what do we have here? We have the dash cell. Side thruster. Add booster one. We've still got that. We probably want that. So add booster or dash cell. Jump booster, side booster. Well, we don't have any of those yet, do we? So I guess I'll do deflect shell. Even if I'm not entirely sure if that'll even help. Okay, so let's get orange and blue. But like a little bit less? That's probably good. Yeah, I really wish I could recolor that gray in there. It's a shame. Okay, start mission. Isolation. And yeah, I'll keep on normal mode for a while. I'll think about harder difficulties as we go along. But honestly, normal mode just seems to kind of work here. It'll probably get a lot harder. I'm surrounded by the aliens! I'm done! We're completely surrounded. Hold your fire. If they find us, we're doomed. We can't expect anyone to rescue us. Let's kill all aliens! Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. He's coming! That attack into the range! Come on! We're being attacked! Ugh. It's too hard to deal with all of them at once. Them out one by one. Hard to shoot the arms off immediately with the fencer. We all attack the same alien together. Yeah, you can shoot the arms off. I almost feel like I might need more of an explosion just to stunlock these guys. Attack their feet. That could slow them down. Okay. Oh, you are still alive. Even so, they'll still buy us some time. They don't seem particularly happy about all of this. Which honestly kind of makes sense. I should have gone with the shotguns. Maybe I should have gone with the shotguns. I'm not sure. This did kind of work. Hold your fire. Wander begins firing. I mean, uh. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so are they just yeah. going to be a 
round and I have to go hunt him down? Yeah, it looks like it. Here, froggy, froggy, froggy. I want to do a big murder on you. There are some units remaining in the city. I want to know the situation. This is Scout. Aliens have started moving. The number of aliens that occupy the city is decreasing. Good. Attention to the units in the city. The bulk of the alien army has left the region. Now is your chance to escape. Defeat the surrounding enemies and secure the escape route. Attack their weapon holding hands. Okay. Then they will be able to use weapons before a new hand generates. It's hard to shoot the guns out of their hands. There's a lot of... Oh, God. That's a lot of gunfire. Yeah, I feel like the shotgun might actually be the uh, the way to go on this guy. Shots can kill aliens instantly. It's too hard to shoot one in the head. Attack the boy. Try to knock them down. Wow. wow. My class seems to be helpful. You are a good student. Wait, they just instantly get their gun back? Yeah, they just need to get their gun back. Also, I'm surrounded and dying. And then, yeah, I like I like the idea of this, but I think I need the shotgun or something. Aliens that appeared in Europe look like humans. They walk on two feet, use weapons and tools with two hands. Or maybe the rocket launcher. Let's let's try going rocket launcher, or grenade launcher. I think I need mobility because the problem is the fencer is a sit and duck. Uh, and a lot of that has to do with how I play, which is probably not for the best. But let's go... What's the range on this? That's a... Why does this shotgun have so much range? I don't know. We're going to give it a go. Yeah, the fencer feels surprisingly slow. The fencer has always felt kind of slow. The main problem is uh, you actually... I'm you surrounded move. by the aliens! I'm done! We're completely surrounded. Hold your fire. If they find us, we're doomed. We can't expect anyone to rescue us. Listen, everyone. I saw their faces. They have two eyes on their face. Humans, they see things with their eyes. We can use this against them. I don't think they're able to attack something they can't see. So when they attack us, we just hide in the shadows of buildings. That is also possible. Let's kill all aliens! Okay, so it looks like the shotgun here worked really freaking well. It's too hard to deal with all of them at once. We have to take them out one by one. <laughs> And it looks like this shotgun does incredible amounts of damage to them. The only problem is it fires really fast. Yeah, alright. Found a good gun for this. The only problem is the reload speed here. It leaves them in chunks. Holy butts. But they can regenerate instantly! Even so, it'll still buy us some time. Yeah, so the grenade launcher works pretty well. And the uh the shotgun like a does a big murder. Because, yeah, I don't need to be accurate if I've got madcap AOEs to just melt them. Damn it. There's this guy over here. You are a big problem, sir. How are you? How? Oh, damn it. Stay here. 
he dead? Did, what? Did their legs just have like ridiculously large hitboxes? There are some units remaining in the city. I want to know the situation. This is Scout. Aliens have started moving. The number of aliens that occupy the city is decreasing. Good. Okay, Attention so... Attention to the units in the city. The bulk of the alien army has left the region. Now is your chance to escape. Defeat the surrounding enemies and secure the escape route. Gotta be careful here. If I get surrounded, I'm in trouble. If I can take on, like, two or three at a time, we're golden. And honestly, I do move faster than them. It's just mainly when it's two groups. It's very hard to see, and yeah, it looks like their limbs have larger hitboxes. Ah, uh, oh, there's three. I'm coming for you. Oh, right, I was gonna go with the speed booster. Because, yeah, destroying objects as you run through them is kind of fun. Special news flash. We've learned that the aliens that appeared in Europe look like humans. They walk on two there feet, one? use oh, weapons and tools with two hands, and can communicate in their language. Right now, many groups are planning to negotiate with the aliens. If a negotiation could take place, we might be able to resolve the conflict peacefully. You fools! There's no peaceful on this! Look at them! They don't look peaceful! Or peaceable! I guess the other thing that would work really well on the frogs would actually just be a straight up, uh... Sniper rifle. And just shoot them in the face. Uh... Because they did say headshots could and would kill them. So I could potentially just do that. Yeah, negotiate how? I know! I know! <laughs> I, you know, they never really had a uh, any kind of Is it like. Really impossible to open talks with aliens. All attempts have utterly failed. The entire negotiation team has been killed. They never really resolved the fact that there are a ton of people outside of ED EDF headquarters. I'm a little bit disappointed about that. Excuse me. Don't forget what I just taught you. Okay, not dead yet. Take a moment to reload. Man, these things are way more fun to fight than Hector's. Hector's were miserable bunches. Big, bouncy, not really that fair. How's it feel without arms to shoot at me? Man, this is just a giant mess of limbs. Can I have my stuff? Thank you. This works great. I'll try a different shotgun though. Something with a little bit faster of a reload speed. Because I can kill one, maybe two with it, but then I have like a really awkwardly long period that I have to like wait for. And I don't like that as much. A tank would probably work really well. Air Raider would be fun on this mission. But for now. That'll piss him off. For now the shotgun will have to do. Are they coming my way? Probably there's five of them. Well, if they bunch up, it's not so bad. Excuse me. Got to get rid of the rocks. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if they heal when they regenerate, or if they just get their ling limbs back. If they've got like a. Uh... 
an HP bar that they, I can look at. Well, I guess what I could do, actually, truly, is use line of sight against them, just like they're using against me. They don't seem happy about this. I wonder why. <laughs> oh, I like this shotgun. Okay, it's pretty good. I just have to duck around corners. If I'm caught out in the open, it, it becomes brabbles. Uh, uh, uh. You wanted less human screaming. I think I got that with the uh, killer frog stock. Oh, yeah. I, at the same time, the killer frog stock, like, it's not loud, it's not high-pitched, I can talk over it easily. Uh, I'm gonna call you buddy. Is there one left? I think there's only one left. Alright! It's an interesting idea. The enemies can regenerate quickly, but have a limited pool of resources to pull from. I'm betting that's the, what the case is. Ah! Uh, Newbie, your bravery is impressive. Well done. Where are you, shits? I just killed every frog in the city. This probably smells disgusting. Oh, you can pop their heads off. You really can just pop their heads off. <laughs> 